Welcome to my painting session today. I'm working on the beautiful still life of grapes with an angel and a book in the background here. There are vibrant colors, especially in the grapes, and then the angel has a more muted, kind of a blurred, so that the grapes are more um, in detail from the deep reds and stuff to the darker purples and stuff. The angel adds a touch of elegance in the composition, kind of enhancing the energy of the, the beauty of the picture. And the angel is watching over the scene, which I think is kind of nice, with a sense of serenity and, and uh, her little cherub face. And um, I hope that you enjoy watching this come to life as much as I enjoy creating this process. And... Um, as you see me capture the delicate details of the vibrant colors of the scene, um, the picture does come from Evolve and I am already mixed up the colors. So I'll be working on the angel first versus the grapes today. Um, and whether you're an experienced artist or looking for some inspiration, um, just enjoy watching the creative process. I've already drawn her out and got her ready to go. So I'm going to start with the angel first. Let me get a smaller paintbrush here. I'm going to do the shadows first. How's everybody's day going? Mine's going okay. Kind of looking forward to spring. It's been kind of a strange winter here in Flagstaff. About an hour away from the Grand Canyon in Sedona. And I'm gonna be taking a motorcycle ride. Get my GoPro out in the next couple of days. And get some pictures, see if the waterfall is uh, happening in Sedona, which I got last year. Hardly anybody even knows it's even there. I'm using a kind of a mixture of Naples yellow, a little bit of red, um, earth, it's called uh, English red actually, it's kind of a deeper, kind of an earth tone, almost like a terracotta color, mixed in with a little bit of blue. And then a, lot, a little bit of black to create the shade so I can create the shadows of the statue here. And if you want to come and see my other work. It's underneath Lisa Marie Pro Artist dot com. I have a lot more paintings and stuff on there.
you know, artwork is definitely changing and stuff over the last few years. So much of it's digital artwork and so I do a little bit of the um, pictures and stuff on my artwork on a platform that I can create some really cool stuff on Pixelmator and then most people end up doing some other types of stuff and then they create their artwork from there. So much different with the creative process now. It's so different now. So much more to choose from people wise. It's like I've been listening to way too many people, you know, with my creative process and stuff. And, you know, it's my journey. And then you pray that you get, you know, one or two hundred super fans that will absolutely love your work and support you because artists still have to be supported by others. You know, you gotta have people support the muse in the music industry, art industry, because we're kind of muses. We kind of channel an energy that comes through us. It's not really, it's what the divine wants to create and we create skills you know it becomes a flow of energy and you hear that a lot from almost all the artists that I've ever done work. It's like, you know, we practice when we getting our skills and stuff, but it's all comes down to I mean, people love your artwork. Get your super fans. Got the Patreon. Now I've got a couple of paintings that are a little bit more, you know, um, not YouTube friendly. So I've got my Patreon. It's a little more spicy, even though it's the way you have to kind of talk on. So I'll be uploading all of the videos I've been do kind of doing. It's been an interesting journey, that's for sure. I've been on this now for four years creating and getting my art skills up and Evolve has been a big, big, big contributor to that. But this is the last few paintings. That I have with them. I don't think I'm going to continue my education, unless I have a miracle happen and I get 2,000 to do their program to continue. Matter of fact, I need some pretty big miracles here on a lot of levels of my life right now.
I'm like wanting to make sure people are healthy and like AC a, I think his name is Anthony because he's been going through some weird stuff too he does more of the checking out products and stuff like what's really good markers and stuff he's the one that turned me into the ohuhu's markers on those which I had a happy accident with my mandala the other day a bunch of um, alcohol because I use alcohol to clean my brushes after I had just put it down it landed weird and opened up and ruined the center part of the mandala but I did a I'm like hey happy accidents happen sometimes and could have been able to take a look at that Which, you know, sometimes you gotta look at it. It's, you know, we're experienced artists. I still consider myself kind of a beginner, even though I'm turning out much better artwork than I ever had. I'm still not mixing colors correctly at times. Nobody else sees the difference. It's just you as a person of, you know, being super picky about it and a lot of times nobody else sees what, what it is and over the time I have learned to kind of let that kind of go because boy it can really destroy you as an artist you know listening to everybody else's idea of what you should be doing I can tell you right now Picasso those types of guys people, Jim Warren, I, you know, they probably learned there are certain things, but I don't recall them probably having a lot of people telling them, you know, hey, your art is, and Jim Warren, he has all that art that, you know, planet Earth and exploding and the divine goddess as the waterfall, and he did the album cover of Bob Sager back in the day and I've always loved his work. I used to talk to him when I was a little kid. I used to go to Westwood a lot when I was younger and during the art shows there all the artists would be there where I'd meet people and I remember talking to Jim. He had a bit like a stand that was up there during the weekends and stuff. For some reason I was taking the bus over there by myself at the age of 11 and 12. It's just the way things were done back then. If you wanted to get somewhere, you hopped on a bus. And I ended up talking to artists and stuff, and Susan Boulay. But Jim was one of the bigger artists because he would actually talk with me, but the minute that, you know, he would have a potential person that wanted, you know, to actually buy something, he'd say, hey kid, you know, I gotta go. But I never took it personal, you know. I just knew that he gotta, he's got to sell his artwork, make a living. And then I actually met Jim years later and told him about it. And he remembers doing the shows, but he doesn't remember talking to me because I was just a little kid, you know. Wasn't allowed into any of the bookstores back in that time because I wasn't old enough to go into them. I would go to the movies and hang out with all these really cool people with their artwork back in the day.
Now I am doing my own thing, at least trying to. Sharing my tips and tricks of... Uh, it doesn't look like you have an app named Tips and Tricks. You can search for it in the App Store. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. <laughs> Gotta love computers. Well, I'm going to continue with my process and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's probably been 20 minutes. So time goes by fast when I'm working. Yep, 16. So a few more minutes. Thank you for joining me too. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad that you're taking your time out of your day to kind of pay attention and stuff. I'm going to hop on my motorcycle later today to go take some pictures down in Sedona. See if anything is going on down there. And continuing to give you guys some insight. Always start with your shadows first, and then your lights will start to come in and pop pretty easily. And thank you for enjoying watching today. And I'm going to continue kind of doing some work. I'll probably do another video right behind this one and stuff for a little bit later. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating this process and working with it. Your voice is very deep today. Anyhow, thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, and uh, if you want to share this with other people, that'd be awesome share it with those people that are you know artists and stuff that want to take their art to the next level or somebody that is already an experienced artist they already know a lot of things i try and go come at situations on a consistent basis that i'm still kind of a newbie at everything so that keeps me in a place of awe and being humble because uh our egos can get in the way, and I know I have a pretty big one at times. All right, thanks guys for subscribing to my channel and learning for more art content coming up. I'm glad that we're creating something beautiful together. And don't forget to like it, as I said, comment, and subscribe. Because the more you want to uh, learn, the more I'll put stuff out, the more you guys continue to come in and become my super fans and stuff. Don't forget if you want to actually purchase some of these um, paintings and stuff, it's Lisa Marie at Lisa Marie Pro Artist. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.